All right, uh, time to get a little bit brutal. Uh, this time we're gonna discuss a film that uh, I have been meaning to get uh, to talk about for some time now, and that's Dunkirk, uh, the newest Christopher Nolan film. Uh, I don't think I talked about that already, did I? Uh, no, I have not. Yeah, I actually have not talked about Dunkirk yet. Um, yeah, uh, a lot of people have been giving it, uh... <clears throat> yeah, there, there's been a lot of discussion with this film, and definitely with good reason. Like, this, um... Uh, a lot of people have uh, been going around saying, like, oh, one of Christopher Nolan's best, or a nice change of pace from, like, uh, his uh, previous works and that, that have related to the sci-fi genre. Um, yeah, it was definitely nice to see him uh, tackle something a little bit different in terms of genres, uh, and especially a war film, because this was... This this was truly something. Uh, I really was invested in this movie. Um, uh, what Dunkirk is is, you know, it's the war World War Two battle. Uh, uh, it's war. Uh, yeah, it's during World War Two. It's the battle at Dunkirk where you know you have soldiers fighting and then you have they have to request a civilian help so some civilian boats are coming to help with the rescue and so forth and uh how it is it's it's told through three different parts of the story one where we're focusing on soldiers on the beach trying to escape the war uh the other one is uh, uh an old man and two boys uh heading for dunkirk to help with the rescue and then the third one is uh, uh mostly focusing on this uh fighter pilot played by Tom Hardy um and, th and there are a lot of other big names there like uh Kenneth Branagh uh God, what was his name uh uh Cillian Murphy uh Mar Mark Rylance especially and uh Harry Styles surprisingly um yes the One Direction kid uh, we'll, we'll get to that um yeah it's mostly just told through those different stories uh and yeah it, it it's really enticing like i know it doesn't focus uh like well it does it, it doesn't stick to like one major focus but it focuses on like an entire section of this uh of the events at dunkirk and uh yeah the the cinematography is really astound uh, is really astounding and uh I saw this in the 70 millimeter and it really it, it really looked good like it really added to the feel of uh of World War two in a way um I know that's a little bit odd to describe but that's just that's just how it works um uh, um yeah um there isn't, uh, I guess the only complaint a lot of people have suggested is that there really isn't, um, as much of a narrative flow as it is, like, we're in the Battle of Dunkirk and here are these events happening. Um, personally, I didn't think that was much of a problem. Uh, I just, I, I really did think that focusing on just, like, okay, we're at the events, let's just get into it. I, I thought that was a nice change of pace. Like, they didn't establish, like, oh, this is the times of World War Two in, like, subtitles or something. Like, no, it's like, here's Dunkirk, here's what's happening at that, here was, here's what was happening at that time. Yeah, it's a, it's a very straightforward film, um, for, for the most, uh, for what it is. And, yeah, um, I was actually kind of surprised at the runtime, uh, because when I last checked, I think it was, like, under two hours, maybe. Like, let me double check, uh. Yeah, this ran in about uh, 106 minutes, which I guess is kind of surprising considering, you know, some of Nolan's uh, previous works were like, you know, two and a half hours, three hours, maybe. Um, 
but yeah, it still it, it still manages to leave a heavy impact on you as you're sitting through it. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think there's much else for me to say except it's just a really brutal experience uh, to to watch. Although there there is another brutal film we're getting to, um, and I think you may know what it is. Uh, but yeah, Dunkirk, definitely a strong Christopher Nolan movie. Um, yeah, the, the, this was this was really damn good. Highly recommend it. Whew. All right.